If we're looking at sugars, how much do you need? The paleo crowd says we don't make anything at all from sugar. Well, how about glycosaminoglycans? That's cartilage. How about, how about proteoglycan receptors? Glycan. We make lots of stuff from sugar. It just doesn't turn over fast, so we don't have to eat a lot of the stuff. Okay, so when you're looking at sugar, what you want to look at is the non-fiber carbs in a high-fat ketogenic diet. So carb to fiber ratio, five to one or lower. I'm going to give an example of garbanzo beans, a quarter cup, 11 grams of carbs, three grams of fiber, nine fiber carbs are eight, the ratio is 3.7 to one, it's less than five. Now when you look at the food label for garbanzo beans, that's an, a food label, it says pretty much the same thing. Uh, it says total carbs 11, just like there, dietary fiber three, sugars one. Well here it says non-fiber carbs are eight. How do you come up with one when you subtract three from 11? I was pretty good at math, that doesn't add up to me. Well, when you're looking at a food label, they have to um, report a short-chain sugar, monosaccharides or disaccharides, glucose, sucrose, that kind of thing. If it's a longer chain, it's called a starch. But as soon as you eat it, it's turning into the short chain. So that's non-fiber carbs. So if it's not fiber, fiber is non-digestible. There is a soluble fiber, but it's really non-digestible, and it does not turn in, it's not metabolized as sugar in your body. So let's give a couple more examples. Um, if you look at spinach, two cups of spinach, three grams of carbs, two grams of fiber, non-fiber carbs, one. No one's going to get cancer or diabetes from eating spinach. And a, a big apple. 34 grams of carbs, fiber five, non-fiber carbs, 29. You probably don't want any single meal going over 15 non-fiber carbs. That's about as much as you need on a daily basis.